Good evening everyone. Today is January 13th, 2018. In this video, I'm going to show you how to move your Stellar Lumens tokens off of the Binance exchange and onto your um, Nano Ledger S. Okay, so um, why am I showing you this video? Uh, because it's not a good idea to keep your tokens on an exchange if you have been uh, pretty active in the uh, token crypto space in the last few weeks, you may have noticed that um, exchanges like Binance and Bittrex sometimes have to just completely disable um, access to your tokens for like days. Uh, I'm not saying that it is wrong. Maybe they have their valid reasons. But what I'm uh, suggesting is by keeping your tokens off of exchanges and on good wallets, uh, it protects you from the loss of control of your tokens that you end up having to give up to exchanges. So with that said, let's go ahead and get started. There are uh, a few assumptions to be made in this video. The first is, I'm assuming you have a Binance account with Stellar Lumens on it. Um, if you don't have any of that, uh, or a Binance account, I've got the link below in the description. The second thing is, I'm assuming you have uh, your uh, Ledger Nano S, which is a hardware wallet. If you don't know what that is, um, or if you don't have one, I also have a link to that in the description. Um, and that's about it. So uh, if you got those two things, let's go ahead and get started. So step one is you need to log into uh, Binance.com. I'm already logged in, but go to the link that I provided in the description, or just type in Binance.com and log in. The second step you need to take is you need to go look up um, your current uh, wallet. So to do that, you go to the top right hand corner to this little person logo here and click on estimated value and it will give you um, a list of your assets. Today we care about Stellar Lumen, so we're only going to look at that. You see that here, you got some options, deposit, withdraw, trade. Today we want to withdraw Stellar Lumens. So you'll see it asks for a few things. It asks for a uh, withdrawal address. It asks for a memo. I'm just going to opt for no memo. And yeah, that's about it. So the next question is, where do we get the withdrawal address from? You're going to get that from uh, the Stellar account viewer using your, net, your hardware wallet. Okay. So you'll see that on this page, you can sign in with a secret key if you don't have a hardware wallet. You can create a new wallet without a hardware wallet, but we don't care about those things today. We care about connecting your Ledger Nano S to the Stellar account viewer, which is the Stellar Lumens wallet. And you'll notice that sign in with Ledger, it's not an option right now. So um, what I'll have to do to make that an option is I'll have to connect my hardware wallet right now. I'm doing it off the screen. So right now I've plugged in my hardware wallet to my computer and I'm typing in my pin code um, on my device right now. So just bear with me for a moment. Okay, so now I have access to my ledger. And the next thing I'm doing is I'm gonna access the Stellar wallet within um, my device. So I'm selecting it now. And you'll notice that as soon as I did that, this sign in with ledger became an option. So I'm gonna, you gotta click on that. And you see my current balance and the Stellar public key. This public key is your public address. So anybody that sends any Stellar to this address well, it's gonna be, it's gonna sh that token or those tokens will show up here. Your Stellar Lumens tokens, okay? So what I what you want to do is you want to take this public key and you want to go back to Binance and you want to plug it in to the um, XLM withdrawal address option. So that's what I just did. I like to typically do a quick check to make sure that I uh, put in the correct address so I can see like 27P5C is my address and. I see that here as well. So I, that's just my way of double checking because if you send it to the wrong address, you lose all, you lose all your um, tokens. So I'm not going to do any memos. Um, and as usual, uh, what I recommend always is always send a test transaction. Okay, so uh, that way if you goof up on the transaction, you don't lose all your funds. So you see the minimum withdrawal is 21 XLM. So if I want to do a test transaction, I'll send just 21 and confirm I have it. But I already did that earlier today, so I'm gonna go with just sending the max. 
and I'm gonna hit submit and uh, when I hit submit it asks me for a Google authentication code um, so I have multi-factor authentication set up so I'm getting the code from my phone right now I hit submit okay so now it's saying they sent me an email with to, for me to confirm that withdrawal uh, request so obviously there are I have a lot of security in place um, I don't want people hacking my hacking my shit basically so now uh, I'm logging into my email and I also have my email set up with multi-factor authentication and I'm typing in my code that I just got from Google and there you go I'm logging in so now I have the email from Binance it says you know confirm my withdrawal so I'll confirm it okay so it confirmed that my uh, withdrawal has been successfully confirmed so now I'm just gonna go here and wait for it to show up okay so uh, I paused the video for a couple minutes but uh, basically it takes it took me about a few minutes to see uh, my lumens so uh, to see the balance of your lumens you basically hit refresh from the last page I was on which um, which is also the last page you're on and you just sign back into the ledger and I'll see that my full amount has been received and I can see my uh, transaction came through so uh, yeah that's basically how you access and send um, your lumens your stellar lumens tokens from Binance to your your uh, ledger nano s or nano ledger s wallet using the stellar account viewer um, that's the all there is to it um, so main takeaways are you know don't keep your tokens on exchanges uh, find a secure wallet to use I use a hardware wallet and um, when you're sending out uh, your transactions I would recommend testing out the transactions fortunately uh, stellar lumens is so cheap and fast that it's actually worth sending out test transactions unlike Bitcoin uh, which is expensive as hell um, so yeah that's about it if you have any questions go ahead and comment them in otherwise go ahead and subscribe to my video have a good day or my channel have a good day bye